Welcome back to Dynamic Steward Daily Video. How can we develop a joyful and festive spirit? As you know, life is not always cool and relaxed, but there are good reasons to celebrate and to be happy. This was God's design for Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 16 shares about three major festivals that God gave to Israel. They were reminders of God's goodness and led the nation to celebrate and rejoice. The first national festival was the Passover. This reminded them that they passed over from slavery to freedom. The angel of death passed over their houses without harming their firstborn. God was their redeemer. The second festival was the seven weeks. It was celebrated seven weeks after the beginning of harvest. They rejoiced over the products of the land. God was their faithful provider, and this was their joy. The last festival was the Festival of Tabernacle. On this occasion, Jerusalem was turned into a big camping ground. They built booths made up of leaves and live inside during the time of the festival. It was a reminder of their 40 years camp in the desert and also about their condition as pilgrims on earth. They were heading for another destination. The hope of a better and fairer future filled them with joy and celebration. Redemption, daily needs satisfied, and hope for a better future. These were simple but profound reasons for them and for us to rejoice and be happy. We don't have all the details about the celebrations, but one important element that we should not miss is mentioned in verse 17. As they celebrate, each of you must bring a gift in proportion to the way the Lord your God has blessed you. This was the essential mean for them to remember that they were blessed and God was the source of their blessings. Dear friends, when we practice offerings in proportion to what we receive, we cultivate a joyful and festive spirit. Read the Bible and rejoice, rejoice in the Lord.